so the next thing so our package is already installed the next thing we want to do is basically install the Gatsby react and react Dom into our theme so I'll do yarn workspace Gatsby WordPress theme Phoenix and that's going to be Gatsby react and react Dom and I'll put that as D and of course we have to do Gatsby workspace and then add over here okay so it's adding all of the packages to our uh, theme okay so this is the package that we need we also need some of the other packages which we are going to install so I'm just going to copy that from here and open up another tab while that is being installed I'm also going to take care of this so I'll do I'll paste this so let me explain that to you so this is going to be Gatsby WordPress theme Phoenix and uh, we're going to add the Gatsby plugin manifest this is useful for since we are going to be developing a PWA yes you heard it right we are going to be building a progressive web app which is basically a uh, web application which behaves as native apps so you will be able to you know use users will be able to use your website offline as well read your blog and stuff like that isn't that pretty cool okay uh, you have the react helmet so people who have worked with react you already know it allows us to uh, you know insert our uh, sub different links or anything that we want to insert instead of the head tag we can do that with this then we have the Gatsby plugin sauce which is for SCSS since we'll be using sauce and then you have the Gatsby plugin sharp and you also have the Gatsby transformer shop which will be used for image optimization that's one of the key uh, features of Gatsby that it offers you image optimization so it it will help us make the images fluid uh, as well and then you have the Gatsby source file system uh, which will be used in case if you want to access any of the images or any other directories so we can define that file you will see that in a moment and then uh, you have the react helmet again you already know about this and then you have the Gatsby source GraphQL plugin so Gatsby source GraphQL plugin is basically used for connecting the arbitrary GraphQL APIs to Gatsby GraphQL so since we will be using WP GraphQL in the WordPress backend to get the WordPress data uh, using GraphQL queries we would requ require this plugin in the front end Gatsby site as well okay so let's go ahead and install it and I think this was this is already done okay and uh, what we also want to do is basically add this as a dependency in your site package.json so I have already done that I think yeah, so come over here mm, yep inside of site and add this as your dependency so everything all the packages of Gatsby WordPress theme Phoenix which is your theme actually uh, all of this package star means all of the packages will be added as a dependency for your site okay so you can run your site directly from here and then there are also some peer dependency you need to add which you've already done so these are the peer dependencies what peer dependencies are uh, for example if you have a package that you are publishing in in our case it's the theme actually uh, if the user is going to install this package uh, into their actual project they would anyways be using Gatsby and react and react Dom. so uh, we add this as a peer dependency because even our actual project which is going to use this plugin is going to require that as well okay so just add Gatsby react and react Dom as the peer dependency okay okay brilliant so we're going to see you so we've installed all of the required packages for now uh, um, the next thing we want to do is basically define some of the configuration awesome great so I hope you did like the theme if you did please give a thumbs up to the video do like to my and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already uh, follow me on Twitter so my Twitter handle is Cody Tech okay so follow me here to support my work and and please give star just add star to my repository to support my work and I'll be updating this as well and please do follow me on github by hitting the follow button you should get that over here okay 
See you then. Bye.